Hello everyone, it's Gromit's Fano on here, and welcome to my cracking video. Halloween. The time of the year where we go trick-or-treating and celebrating the day by dressing up in spooky costumes. It's also the time of the year where we watch spooky films and TV episodes. And for Arban Studios, they've made some spooky episodes and films too. Even though they don't particularly celebrate Halloween, some of them are still spooky to watch on this scary day. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my top 10 list of my favourite Arsman Halloween specials. Number 10. Timmy Gets Spooked. While this episode is not at all scary, it does celebrate the true spirit of Halloween for little kids. In this episode from series 2 of Timmy Time, Timmy and Finley are playing tricks by making their friends jump. But at the end of the episode, their friends get their own back by playing tricks on the two troublemakers. Even though this is clearly for little toddlers, the appreciation for the spooky season is clearly there for the youngsters to enjoy. It is the child friendliness of this episode that makes it more colourful rather than a scary one. But then it does have its downsides too as you need the spookiness to give this episode some more edge to it. And this episode doesn't have that. Because, let's face it, it's Timmy time. It's basically set for the little kids, and that's probably why this episode is at number 10. But it's still a good episode to watch if you're a massive Arban fan. Number 9. Johnny Savloy's Undoing, from Rex the Runt. Even though this series is not well known to some of the Arban fans, this episode certainly has a few spooky moments in it. While most of the episodes don't have much of a strong plot, the plot in this episode is better than the rest of the episodes from series 1. The best way I can describe the story is that Rex and the gang meet a famous singer called Johnny Savloy, who uses chemicals to keep him alive from ageing. But he soon kidnaps Wendy to use her as part of his experiment, and it's up to Rex, Bad Bob, to save her from his master plan. This episode has to be one of the best from the first series of Rex in my opinion. It has more of a structured plot which can be understood a bit better with its beginning, middle and end structure and some of the content which is more for adults rather than children. Number 8 Is There Anyone Out There? From Series 1 of the popular Creature Comfort series. At first glance, when looking at this episode, you're probably thinking, Creature Camp, this is not scary, so why is this episode on the list? Well, even though this episode is based on animals being interviewed about the subject on aliens, it is how it is shot that made it look freaky when using a mixture of character designs and the lighting to make the episode look dark and intriguing rather than the animals talking. It has a spooky presence, and the use of the music at the end of the episode makes it even spookier. If you want to watch an Arban episode for Halloween, then this is perfect to watch. While admittedly its dialogue focuses on animals talking, which it should, its characters will definitely put you in the Halloween mood. Number 7 Shadow Puppets, from Series 2 of the brand new Morph. Morph and Chaz are always trying to trick and outdo each other, and in this episode, their personalities shine here. In this episode, Morph and Chaz are playing shadow puppets with their hands, but when a dragon puppet is shown on the wall, Morph freaks out and tries to hide, only to discover it's one of Chaz's tricks. This episode has to be one of the best in the second series, not just because of the dark lighting, but with its strong, clever and funny plot that only lasted one minute. While I have seen darker Arban stories, this episode took more of a comic take on the idea, but gave it a little bit more edge because it was set in the dark. It's an episode that mixes all the comedy, and it also has a perfect ending. What's not to like? Number 6 Little Sheep of Horrors This episode is from the first season of the popular hit TV series, Shaun the Sheep. Even though the episode is more comical, and is a reference to the film Little Shop of Horrors, it still has some images that might scare some of the youngest fans of the show. In the episode, the farmer is watching a horror film, and unbeknown to him, the flock are watching too.
but after getting bored of the film, the farmer turns off the TV and he and the flock head off to bed. However, Timmy stays behind and goes into the house to watch the rest of the film for himself. The flock soon realise that he is missing and so they go off into the house to rescue him, but they encounter lots of frightening surprises along the way. This was one of the first episodes to have an eerie theme, but this is a great example of an Aardman episode to watch on Halloween. Even though this episode is the one that has a lot of laughs, like most episodes, its story structure is like a feature film, and using the horror elements by taking a lighter and hilarious take on the episode, it feels like it can appeal to all ages, and this episode is a great example of that. An episode that has a lot of thrills that can be watched on Halloween. Number 5 Phony Farmer Another slightly freaky episode from Sean the Sheep, only this episode is from Series 4. Sean and the gang have had their fair share of creepy adventures on the farm, and in this adventure, while the farmer is on holiday, a lazy, selfish man has been left in charge to look after the farm. His laziness and selfish attitude results the animals in making a plan to take control of the farm by dressing up in Halloween costumes to scare the man. And the animals of Mossy Bottom succeed in doing so and soon have control of the farm their way. While the scare factor has been toned down for this episode, it still feels like another good story, especially near the end. The third act is what made the episode more enjoyable, since it was great to see the horrible man get his comeuppance. But the one thing that makes this episode stand out is the costumes that the animals wear because of the amazing details to make it look handmade. It's details like this that make this episode a great watch on All Hallows Day. Number 4 Things that go bump in the night The final Sean episode in this top 10 list which is probably the tensest episode out of all of Sean's adventures. In this spooky episode, Sean and the flock can't get to sleep because of the storm outside, so Bitsa comes into the barn to read a bedtime story, but they soon suspect that the barn is haunted with moving gloves, scary pumpkins and ghostly sounds. It is soon revealed that the naughty pigs are just up to their old tricks, and soon the flock get their own back at the end of the episode. The tension in this story is handled very well for a 7 minute running time, with great music from Mark Thomas, great direction from Dave Osmond, and great lighting from the directors of photography that make this the best Sean adventure to watch on Halloween. If you want a 7 minute short of Sean the Sheep that has an interesting plot and comedy, then this is the one to watch on this particular day. Number 3 Bully Proof Vest from Cracking Contraptions Sean is not the only Armand character who's had some scary moments. Wallace and Gromit have had their fair share of scary adventures too, and one of them being the Bully Proof Vest from the Cracking Contraptions shorts in 2002. Wallace is settling down for the night with some crackers, but there seems to be someone watching his every movement in the house. Wallace uses his Bully Proof Vest to punch the intruder, but it turns out to be Gromit, as he and Wallace have conducted a test with his latest invention. What made this short so amazing was not just because of Julian Knott's music, and not just because it stars our favourite duo, but because how this episode was set made it so interesting throughout. Its lighting plays a huge part in bringing the tension to life for just one minute of screen time. It also feels very atmospheric too, and one of Wallace and Gromit's finest moments. Number 2 Stage Fright Everything in this 10 minute short has something to be frightened of. From the sets, to the characters, to the music, everything in this short is what I call a true film to watch on Halloween. But the most chilling moments of all is the villain of the piece, which is Arnold Hugh. His design makes him the scariest villain I've ever seen. When I was little, I used to be terrified of this film. But as the years went by, I soon started to love the film for what it is. And my number one favourite Arben Halloween special is... The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. This is the perfect Arben film to watch on Halloween. Why is that, you may ask? Well, there are many reasons. 
one of them being the horror-themed genre that the film has been set in, and also because of the scary moments that happen in the film. Particularly the transformation scenes, which used to scare me a lot when I was growing up. It's a movie that is a Halloween treat to watch, that shows off all the creepiness and scariness and love and laughter for all ages. As well as to give a few spooks and surprises too. I'm Gromit Fan 01 and I hope you enjoyed the video.